Okay. That should bring it back. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see if somebody gets it. We'll keep taxing here slowly until we can figure out what's going on. I'm seeing an excellent connection. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened, guys. Okay, okay, good, you got it. You got it. Owls, good evening. Uh, really appreciate you being here. I think I had a problem with my uh, stream page. I'm not really sure what happened. I started the stream. But evidently something happened, so we missed all the uh, good opening stuff. So uh, we'll uh, we'll just have to get back into the in, into some of this here. Uh, all right, let's uh, go ahead. Yeah. Captain Jack. Captain Jack. Captain Jack. Mm, Captain Jack. I I Captain. it's the real Captain Jack. If you do decide to leave, you will not be allowed access back on board, and parachutes are not included. <laughs> Here at Frontier Airlines, we like to keep up with all the latest fashion trends. In the event that this flight becomes a cruise, all of you lucky people get your own itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow falcon dot bikinis beneath your seat. <laughs> Minus the itsy bitsy teeny weeny and you get no polka dots. Once you're outside the aircraft, pull down sharply on the red tab that's on the front. Or for those of you who love to make life difficult, you can blow into that red tube near your shoulder to blow. I mean inflate. The beautiful bikini is equipped with a water-activated light. How in the world that works, I have no idea. So if you figure it out, please do let me know. And if by chance yours does not inflate, well, grab your neighbor and hold on for dear life. <laughs> the location and use of life vests for your child that shows the most potential is located in that safety information card. If needed, due to a loss of cabin pressure, four oxygen masks will drop from the compartment over your head. Ignore those and grab your nearest flight attendant to get some air. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> Once you stop screaming, place that mask over your nose and turn off. To adjust, pull on the elastic tabs on either side. Make sure to adjust your own mask before assisting your favorite child, another passenger, or your husband who's definitely screaming louder than you are. And let's be honest, only those of you that pay the extra $49.99 get any oxygen. Smoking of any kind is not allowed on the aircraft. Unless you're like me and you're smoking hot. <laughs> Thank you so much for your attention. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight to Colorado Springs. And for those of you who didn't give us your full attention, good luck. <laughs> All right. Hey, there you go. Get our, uh, get our normal flight announcement going there. Okay, I was just checking a couple of things on the overhead. Owls, welcome. Uh, Graham, um, Andrew, I am so sorry, man. We had uh, a little bit of an issue with my streaming stuff there, so uh, I think I got it all figured out, and we're finally, <laughs> finally live here. You missed the opening and everything, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and have a, a good rest of the flight. Glad you're uh, uh, here with us tonight. Got uh, a couple of things to show you. As a matter of fact, there's uh, Pikes Peak right out the uh, left side of the aircraft here as we get ready to uh, take off from Colorado Springs. We will be heading up towards Denver, but then making a northwest turn uh, up towards uh, Hayden, Colorado, KHDN. Uh, you can Follow us on simaware.ca, SWA410. Uh, let's see, we are on Volanta. We'll see if uh, we get some tracking up there. Uh, Turkey Country Ball, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad uh, you could make it uh, here with us uh, tonight. And uh, we'll, have, we'll, just, uh, we'll just go have a good time. All right, I'm going to get a couple of other little housekeeping dones here. We're going to arm our auto throttle. Uh, that's all set. Uh, we'll do a quick uh, TCAS uh, test here. Usually I have to hit this button a couple of times. Come on now. TCAS test pass. Okay, there. It took us a few tries, but uh, but we uh, we got it. 
Al's, I got to tell you, man, that landing you did into Juno last night, holy smokes. Uh, I was like, where is the runway? But, man, you <laughs> you made it look just expert and pro the way you uh, came in there and did that. I, I really don't know that I would have been brave enough to do that myself. Uh, you know, yeah, it's a simulator and all that, but uh, I don't know. I think I may have done the go, the go around because uh, you sure did a great job. You should have seen that, guys. You couldn't see this runway at all. It was occluded and it was uh, cloudy and it was just uh, an absolute mess going into Juneau, Alaska. Yoham is here. Yoham, brother, I am glad you made it tonight. Thanks uh, thanks for coming along, and uh, we're going to fly to Hayden, Colorado. We're flying in real time. Uh, when we're going into Montrose a little bit later, uh, I may go ahead and make it uh, uh, make it daylight again. We'll see, but uh, we'll see what Colorado looks like, uh, my home state and everything. Uh, Colorado Springs traffic southwest uh, 410 crossing runway 13 at Charlie, uh, Southwest 410, Colorado Springs. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, get across there. Nothing coming that way. I should have looked before, but uh, there we go. All right, let's get on across here. But yeah, Al's, I, I gotta tell you, man, that was just really, really awesome. Uh, that landing into Juno. All right, let's get our engines on to continuous. Altimeter is set. Okay, auto brake to RTO as we taxi on in here. We're going to make a left turn, then we're going to hold short of run, uh, runway uh, one three. We're actually uh, kind of departing on time here, but once again, uh, I'm sorry that uh, the stream wasn't running properly there in the very beginning, so we missed all the usual uh, open stuff, but uh, we'll catch it next time. Yeah, Yoham, that's uh, uh, that's what I was saying. That landing he did yesterday into Juno, just nuts, just nuts. All right, let's uh, pull up to the hold short. Uh, Colorado Springs traffic, Southwest 410, holding short, runway 13, Southwest 410, Colorado Springs. All right, let's go through the uh, rest of our before uh, takeoff here. Everything uh, pretty much is checked. I did on the... Uh, uh, on the uh, roll up there, auto brake to RTO is the last. We're ready. Okay, uh, Colorado Springs Southwest 410, ready for takeoff. Runway 13 for a north departure towards Denver. Okay, let's uh, get rolling here. And uh, we're going to line up, and I've got a special little piece of audio for you, so let me get that ready. And we'll get ready for our takeoff here. We'll go to our uh, Cam 2 throttle. Get lined up here. All right. A little bit of a southwest turn burn. Here we go. Toga! 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 Yeah, that's right. We're going to get her done. We are rolling forward. Our takeoff power is set. I'm going to go ahead and set our LNAV and VNAV. Airspeed is alive. Reverse. Uh, I don't know why this thing's hollering at me here. Let's go ahead and get in the air. 80 knots checked. V1, rotate. V1, rotate. Let's get up in the air. There we go. Positive <laughs> Jeez. Gear up. All right, gear up. Why is she giving me? Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, start our turn. Colorado Springs traffic, Southwest 14, climbing through 7,300 feet, uh, turning north towards Denver for uh, a direct departure for Hayden. Southwest uh, 410, Colorado Springs traffic. Okay, we'll uh, get up and get around here. Give you guys a couple of views out towards the airport there. As we make that left-hand turn. Okay, flaps up. Hey, Bernie, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you're here, Bernie. Bernie's uh, literally across the street from me, guys. 
Should have a beautiful view of uh, Pikes Peak here in just a moment as we climb up out of the springs. You know, Denver is my, there's Pikes Peak off in the distance. Uh, Colorado, uh, Denver is my home airport, but you know, I thought it would be a lot of fun to uh, fly out of Colorado Springs. All right, we're gonna hit uh, Command A. Get back up in the flight deck here for just a minute. We're in autopilot, we're past 10,000 feet. Let's get our landing lights off. Landing lights are off. Let's go through our uh, checklist here. Okay, everything is good and correct. You know, I did not start our clock, so I'm gonna start our clock just a little bit late, but that's all right. Okay, clock is running. And we are, I did hit that button. All right, yep, we're in T-A-R-A, -A, that is correct. Let's get uh, our brakes to off and our landing gear lever to off. You know, guys, I gotta tell you, um, I really, really love watching Mickey D. Mike, watching owls, they do such a great job. They're really pro at this. I've learned so much watching with them. So uh, my hat's off to you guys. You you do just, uh, just so well, so much fun to watch and have been just uh, an amazing inspiration uh, to me. Okay, one other thing that I want to check in our FMC is I wanna check our cruise altitude. If we look on our flight plan, normally I would do this before we took off, but I've gotten to where I start checking it here as well. Uh, 280 on our flight plan, so we're going to make sure that that reads correctly. Flight level 280. And we'll hit execute on that. We'll go back and uh, let our legs reload. All right, that's where they should be. All right, 43 miles to FQF, which is where we're going to make a turn up towards Hayden. Yep, there we go. And FQF's kind of on the south side of Denver, so we'll get a, a look at uh, Denver there this evening. Hey, by the way, as we're climbing out, last week uh, I featured my good buddy Owls and uh, Mickey Mike, and uh, this week I've got a couple of uh, uh, new things that uh, that I'd kind of like to show you. Uh, first of all, another young lady that I've been watching that is really just fantastic and a real pilot. She's a real pilot. She puts on uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, you know real flying videos in her little aircraft called. Little Red, and that's uh, Kay Hall. Kay Hall is out of Texas, and Kay is, um, I'll put uh, put the link to her YouTube channel in here as well. And uh, Kay is um, uh, just a wonderful pilot, great pilot. Um, uh, Alice, I was gonna tell you too that she is wonderful to watch and uh, to uh, be able to uh, get some inspiration for being a young pilot. Okay, there's 18,000 feet, let's, uh, hit our standard altimeter of two nine or nine or two. Okay, that's in there and I'll just show you that uh, here on the uh, flights, uh, flight screen. Okay, we're at our standard uh, altitude as we climb out through 19,000 feet. We're at 314 knots already. But yeah, uh, Al's a wonderful channel, wonderful channel. If you want some, <laughs> some more flying uh, in the real world inspiration, this young lady is really just amazing. And uh, another gentleman that, uh, that I've kind of been watching here a little bit too, along with Al's and Mickey D. Mike, uh, and uh, we'll take this, is Fly with Lotto. Uh, did that come? Yeah, that came up properly. Uh, great channel, some great information, great videos on Fly with Lotto's channel. Uh, so I encourage you to, uh, to check that out, of course. And um, we're uh, just really, really glad to be able to talk about some of these people on my flight stream. And of course, uh, whatever you do, I uh, wanna make sure that you, uh, of course, uh, check out my uh, buddy Al's channel there. And uh, just so you can have it in your, uh, have the link in the chat window and you can copy it off and uh, go have a look at it. Uh, let me put this one in there and that will pop up momentarily.
can't get you back up on the uh, flight deck yet. Yeah, you notice that, um, yeah, the um, the Volanta banner is not tracking. I, I still have not been able to figure out why it is not tracking. Okay, and uh, yeah, I wanted to put uh, Al's, okay, Al's link is up there. Let me put uh, Fly with Lotto's uh, link up in there as well so you guys have that in the chat. You can copy it off. You can take a look at their channels. And uh, go ahead and give those folks a subscribe if you would. I would really, really appreciate it. That would be just awesome. Okay, we'll go ahead and, uh, and pull that up there. It's been an interesting weather week in Colorado. We've got snow in the mountains. We've got 65 degrees uh, uh, temperature in the uh, Denver uh, metro area today. Supposed to be near 80 by Friday. So as we travel on up towards Denver, and it looks like we're gonna have some cloud cover too. Uh, there has been snow up in the mountains uh, just west of Denver here today. So uh, we might have uh, a fun landing into Hayden. All right, I, I have a couple of other things that I'm gonna show you guys too here. Uh, we'll probably do that once we uh, get uh, uh, past Denver. I had a, a, a colleague of mine who took some absolutely amazing photographs uh, of the eclipse. Did you guys get to see the eclipse? Did you uh, get to spend some time uh, to doing that? And uh, let's see, a couple of other things there. All right, well, uh, we'll take care of that a little later. Hey, Al's, uh, glad to have you back. I uh, kept talking about your uh, landing there and uh, put a link to your channel uh, up in the chat. And uh, we, uh, we had a couple of uh, other, uh, I'll call them uh, uh, unofficial sponsors uh, this week, uh, Fly with Lotto and Fly with Kay. Kay's a, a real world pilot, uh, an amazing young lady who flies out of the Houston area in a little, air, a little red aircraft called Little Red. She calls it Little Red. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's just so much fun to watch. And um, as a real world pilot, her procedures are uh, just amazing and how she talks to air traffic control. Uh, really, really, uh, really enjoy that. Uh, but uh, no worries, man. I am glad you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm honored uh, for you to uh, join us tonight. And uh, yeah, uh, Johan and I were, uh, well, Johan was commenting in the chat and I was commenting that that, uh, again, that landing into Juno, man, you just blew my mind. Just blew my mind. Let's see, um, are we going to be able to see the uh, south side of Denver? Yep, we're, as a matter of fact, there is DIA, Denver International Airport. We're uh, getting up kind of close to the uh, Bravo airspace, but we're up on the upper leg of it. Bernie, you got to see the, uh, the eclipse. Uh, did you use glasses or did you use some other kind of, uh, uh, some other kind of uh, eye protection there? And uh, of course, I know here we're making our turn at FDF. Uh, let's see, there's Cherry Creek Reservoir. Uh, the airstrip here now, I'm forgetting the name of it, and I know it, and I should. And of course, once again, that's Denver International Airport below us uh, down there. So uh, anyway, we're making the turn now. This is, uh, this is not gonna be a very long flight this evening. As a matter of fact, if we go to our progress page, uh, we're going to be uh, to our top of descent in 171 miles or at uh, 0133 <laughs> and the stupid clock is not running. Okay, there we go. All right, it's running now. Uh, so uh, we'll be landing in Hayden in uh, less than a half hour as we fly out over the Colorado mountains here. And uh, this cloud cover is real in the Denver metro area. I live just about right under where the aircraft is flying right now. And uh, we have this cloud cover over the city. Once again, there's uh, Denver International down there below us. And I actually, in real life, IRL, actually live right over here, right over here along I-70, west of the downtown area and just east of this lake. So, uh, you know, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah, oh, Paul's here, Paul's here. Cynthia and I are waving as you go over. Yeah, Paul, you're you're more down in this area. <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, we flew by you. But, uh, Paul, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here, you and Cynthia. Uh, Cynthia, of course, is the artist who did my painting of Colorado One that I've had on here. I should probably try to pull that up and uh, and show during uh, during my flight sims as well. But uh, Cynthia is a wonderful artist and has done just some absolutely incredible paintings and photographs. And uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to pull this up and show you guys. All right, let's see. Yeah, let me do this. Select picture load. We'll go to monitor two and wait for monitor to load now without the captain jack flight simulator there in the uh, on this particular print where it's just blue sky, sky and cloud here's a southwest colorado one that was printed by my good friend cynthia schumann just a beautiful beautiful painting this painting is what uh three and a half by two and a half or four by three or something to that effect and uh, these are real Colorado mountains. These are real renditions of real Colorado mountains here. Uh, this is Uncompagre Peak. It's got kind of a squared off top and the slopes are, Cynthia did such a beautiful job of uh, renditioning the, ren rendering these. These are the Maroon Bells just west of Aspen. And this is Mount of the Holy Cross, which is uh, along Interstate 70 west of Vail, Colorado. And those are, uh, I like to call them anatomically correct mountains in the paintings. But anyway, Cynthia did that for me and I am forever grateful, uh, Cynthia, uh, for that. By the way, if you guys want a copy, they are available. So <laughs> there you go, we'll, uh, we'll uh, keep that in there. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll load up Simaware here and uh, we've got to let it have just a moment to update. Okay, let's see. I need to go over to 122.8 Unicom as well. And I have not gotten an alert and I'm not seeing anything on VATSIM. Okay, this should be us. Yep, there we are. Southwest uh, 410 over the Denver metro area. Let's see if I can pull it up here on FS Hub. And yep, there we are on FS Hub. And this is our flight path into Hayden. No, nope, come back here. Okay, there we go. Yep, everything is working. While we're at it, let's go ahead and uh, pull up our RNAV information for Hayden. So we're gonna go KHDN, Yampa Valley Airport, which once again, this is a real uh, Southwest uh, Let's get to our approach. We're doing the RNAV for runway 28. Okay, so let's take a look at this chart. Our inbound course is gonna be 303, so we'll set that in just a moment. Touchdown zone is about 6,600 feet. We're gonna be coming in over some mountains, uh, some pretty tall mountains, um, as a matter of fact. So we're going to uh, be at 13,000 feet and descend on in to Hayden via Hypna, uh, Pison, BR, Dicey, and Baya. So let's look at our FMC. All right, there we are. Hypna, Pison, BR, Dicey, Baya, Wogri, and runway 28. I have done this approach uh, several times before, so hopefully we'll have a, uh, a good RNAV approach here. Once again, welcome to the Captain Jack Flight Simulator. If you haven't yet, please make sure that you uh, don't forget. If you haven't yet, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, there you go. All right, very good. Thank you, uh, co-pilot Jeremy. Got him in there, and uh, we're going to have a co another co-pilot voice in uh, down the line here. Uh, you know, uh, we've got a lot of cloud cover, but uh, we're able to look down and see some of the uh, mountains. Let's go ahead and get an external view. And uh, man, the airplane just looks great, doesn't it? Beautiful clouds. We are at our cruise altitude. 
So we can uh, come aboard here and we can uh, indeed uh, uh, get the uh, seatbelt sign off. Right on, right on. Yeah, it's uh, uh, living here in Colorado, driving to all the, uh, the, the uh, places that uh, my buddy Paul and I do. It's uh, really spectacular to see how accurate the simulator renders them uh, from the air here. Okay, I want to kind of keep a watch on when our top of descent is going to be. So let's get down top of descent. 125 miles. Okay, everything's looking good. I'm seeing a little bit of a discrepancy though in this flight plan, so we're gonna take a look at that. Okay, we are in, let's get into plan mode. Let's get our legs in here and let's take a look at this. So yeah, we've got an oddball loop there and I am not sure what that is. So I'm going to uh, start taking a look at this. Wow, the flight plan is just all messed up. Yeah, I am not sure what's going on with that. Hypnopison BR, I think we're going to go direct to Hypna. Okay, I'm going to change the flight plan here. We're going to go direct to Hypna. Okay, yep, see that, that got rid of that problem. I, I'm not sure what that problem exactly was or why it was called, but it's always good to review your flight plan and then that's taking us right on down. We're gonna have a bit of an offset, a five degree offset into runway 28. Okay, and then 10,000 feet will be our missed approach altitude at Meekwai, Me Me I think. Okay, all right, we repaired that, it's always good to look at that flight plan. And we can see that our top of descent now is less than uh, 15 miles away. So that's good. So being as we don't have any controllers, we're gonna go ahead and set that as we were looking here. We're gonna set our descent altitude down to about I think about 7820. So let's do that to uh, to start with. 7820. Guys, another thing that uh, Owls and the other guys do is they play a lot of music. I unfortunately do not have music. <laughs> uh, we'll just uh, sit here and look in the chat window and uh, I'll comment as we go along. Once again, welcome tonight. We really appreciate you uh, uh, stopping in and being part of the flight sim here. Okay, as you can see uh, on our MFD, our top of descent is coming up. We're at 28,000 feet and 305 knots. On a, uh, a dual hop flight tonight, we're gonna land in Hayden, then we're gonna reset up and we're gonna go to uh, Montrose, Colorado. Get a little drink there. So, Al's, if you're if you're still in there, Yoham, uh, tell us uh, about some of the things you're going to be doing on your streams coming up. Uh, Al's, when's your next flight? I think you said uh, Friday. Uh, last time I watched your stream here, uh, did you say Friday for your next flight? You might tell us where we're going to go and. Uh, Guys, if you want to email me, Captain Jack F L T S I M C A P N Jack F L T S I M, I'll be glad to uh, send you uh, some information on um, Al's channel, Mickey D Mike's channel, uh, some of the other guys that I like to watch. Be glad to uh, send you uh, all that information. All right, we're beginning our descent into Hayden, Colorado. 
Hey, Isaac is here. Isaac, welcome, welcome, welcome. Isaac has a, a streaming channel on YouTube as well. And uh, so glad that uh, that you're here, mate. Thanks for stopping in. We're uh, beginning our descent into Hayden, Colorado. Had a little bit of a rough start with the stream for some reason. Uh, it was not going out. And uh, we had to, uh, to do some resetting there. And uh, now it seems to be working fine. Uh, you know, Alaska Cargo Ops, you know, uh, Yoham, I'll take you up on that. Uh, very definitely. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I thought about maybe trying to do some uh, up in Alaska on the DC-3 sometime. But uh, no, we'll, uh, we'll certainly look at that. Uh, I'm glad for every suggestion, and I need to kind of branch out and do some new stuff. As a matter of fact, uh, sometime we're going to do uh, some lower level flying in the TBM-930. Okay, let's uh, get our uh, uh, approach reference set. So we've got uh, 7,600 pounds of fuel right now. We'll have 7,200 when we land. So that's 400 pounds or 0.4. We'll uh, drop that from 123.2 uh, and get uh, uh, 122.8. We'll get that in there. We're going to make our flaps uh, landing speed 40. All right, that looks good. Yeah, Al's, uh, I love the DC-3. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll show you guys this. Uh, I have a whole set of, of uh, real handles for the, uh, for the DC-3. Let me uh, make sure I'm on the screen. Yeah, there we go. So I've got uh, real DC-3 handles for my Honeycomb Bravo. And by the way, I have the uh, information to, uh, uh, to uh, 3D print these. So if you guys uh, would like to have a copy of that, I would be glad to send it to you. Send me an email, Captain Jack, F L T S I M, at Outlook.com, just like uh, on the screen there. Okay, we're descending in. We've got our approach reference set. That is good. And we're descending through 21,000 feet. Uh, Isaac, you say you don't really stream, but you post a few in real life flying for fun. Hey, that's awesome, man. That is absolutely awesome. I. Um, uh, we'll be sure to check that out. I did subscribe to your channel, Isaac, and uh, uh, I'm honored. I'm honored that you guys are here uh, because uh, I'll tell you, uh, you guys that have been doing some streaming on YouTube uh, as long as you have, and as uh, as expert and pro as you are at it, I've uh, like I've said many times, I've learned a lot and have been inspired. So you guys uh, have really have really been uh, an inspiration to uh, this 63 year old guy. There you go. All right, let's uh, set up our auto brakes. I'm going to go ahead and set auto brakes, too, so we've got that. Let's turn up a little light here in the cockpit. Just get some, uh, some more light there to kind of lighten us up as we go into the sunshine as we continue our descent. We're coming up on 18,000 feet. We need to get our METAR and TAF for KHDN. So I'm going to set that here, and then I'll show it to you, HDN execute and uh, we'll bring up uh, this camera okay 30.15 and the winds are correct for us to land on runway 28 as you see about 10 knots it's going to be just off of our nose as we come in down so let's get uh, 3015 set in the altimeter and we need to get that changed over here pretty quick change that okay so we're going to be a little bit above the uh, glide slope there as we see but the uh, aircraft will correct itself okay we're getting ready to come in here uh, i'm not going to record this landing we'll record the second landing in montrose and we'll try to get you some uh, uh some playbacks there paul says 23b is upset because we're serving coke instead of Pepsi, we've duct taped him to a seat. Thank you. We can uh, release him to authorities <laughs> when we get on the ground in Hayden. Um, I was going to buy the uh, the new uh, Hayden Airport that I, I saw on FlightSim.to, but I did not get to do that. Oh, no, this is really great. The clouds have thinned out. The Hayden Airport is right over in this area. And over to the right is the Steamboat Springs Ski Resort. I know the map in the state so well that uh, actually Steamboat, uh, yeah, ski resort's over here. Steamboat is down in here. This is Emerald Mountain. And we're right on 
the uh, RNAV glide, glide slope. And we're set. Okay, let's go through some uh, descent prep. We have our ATIS airport information. Altimeter is checked. Uh, radio, we need to get uh, the CTAF for Hayden. So let me do that here real quick. Okay, 123.0. So let's get that set in here, 123.0. Get that in there. I want to get my fixed rings in. So we'll come back over to here. So grab our runway. Okay, fix runway. Five mile ring, 10 mile ring. 15 mile ring. Okay, we are set. Okay. Uh, Yampa Valley, uh, uh, this is Southwest 410, uh, descending through 12,500 feet on the RNAV uh, 27 approach. Uh, Yampa Valley, Southwest 410. Okay, let's get our uh, landing lights on. We'll go ahead and throw our taxi lights on as well. We're a little bit high there. I'm going to go ahead and get our logo lights on and our window and wheel well lights on. We can. I've, I've got the uh, visual on the airport off in the distance. We're going to keep sending here. I'm going to uh, put a little speed brake in to get our uh, speed down to where we need it to be. And then we're gonna start adding in some flaps here pretty quick. Hey, Underdog is here. I saved something for you, brother. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Ah, there you go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Underdog is here. What's up, man? <laughs> uh, so glad uh, you could make it tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Captain Jack flight stream here. Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and do a speed uh, intervent here and start getting a slow down even more. I want to go ahead and deploy flaps five. The aircraft may start hollering at me, but uh, that's all right. Once again, we've got an offset landing. Yeah, underdog, I uh, I saved that just for you, hoping you'd show up. There's yeah. no need to fear. Underdog is here. Yeah, how about that? Arr, it's the real Captain Jack. Yes, it is. All right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, continue with our uh, approach in here. I don't know if you guys can see the lights on the airport here, but uh, there you go. All right. And just look at a couple of things there. I'm going to take over the aircraft here pretty quick because uh, Get our speed down some more to just under 180. Check. Okay, we're going to stay in the autopilot for a little bit. You can see how the runway is kind of slanted off. So, Al's, I've got to do kind of the same approach here, except I can see what I'm doing that you did last night. Only I'm doing it from the left hand side and you did it from the right hand side. So, we're going to get in here and, uh, and see what we do. Coming in low over these hills, which is uh, how that this approach is actually done. Okay, our speed brake is armed. I'm going to go to flaps 15. We're going to get our speed down to uh, a little over 145. Okay, we're on about a seven mile final. We're going to get our gear down. Yeah, the aircraft's going to holler at me a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go flaps 30. And as soon as we clear these hills here, I'm going to manually fly in here. Okay. Aircraft is mine. I've got the throttle. Totally hand flying the aircraft now. Going to kind of hold this attitude in. 
little above the glide slope, but I want to really clear these hills here. So our wind is going to be from 2, 9, or 1 at 10, but so far our approach is looking real good. Yeah, this is an offset runway. Uh, there's one like this in Grand Junction, too. And uh, some of these mountain airports really seem to have, but we're really good. We're just slightly above the glide slope, maybe. And to do little adjustments, 1,000 feet, uh, we're going to reset our uh, missed approach altitude to uh, about 10,000 feet. All right, we've got that. Let me reset my view here. Going to keep coming in on the glide slope. We're going to start making our turn. I have the aircraft. Speed is good. Let's get that turn just a little sharper. Kind of overshot a little bit, but we'll correct. A little bit underneath the glide slope. I'm going to give ourselves a, a little... Uh, 500. A little more. Okay, now we've got two red, two white. We're looking good. Not recording this landing. We'll do the one into Montrose. 200. I wonder if these Southwest guys really land this way. All right. Here we go. 100. 50, 40, 30, 20. Back on the throttles, nose up slightly. Hey, there we go, minus 160. Hey, I'll take that on an offset landing. I'll, well, no, now that's telling me one uh, minus 250. Yeah, um, LRM said minus 250. And uh, the other monitor said minus 160. I think I'll go with the minus 160. All right, I'm going to go with manual braking. Okay, now we can uh, drop off the, uh, we're going to go ahead and go down to our next exit on this runway, which basically is the entire runway. Hey, Kills, my skills is here. Al, thanks for the butter, man. Coming from you, uh, that's an honor. Uh, Kills, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Just Pilot is here. Smooth. Kills, my skills, minus 250. That's a lie. <laughs> I kind of agree with you. Uh, landing rate monitor can be a little harsh on occasion. I've noticed that when I've been watching Al's and Mickey D. Mike fly, too. Uh, but, yeah, we'll take that landing. I'm totally happy with that. We're going to get down here. Uh, we maybe could have made that uh, other... Um, other turnoff, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll take that landing all day long. Okay, let's uh, come around here. Uh, Yampa Valley traffic, Southwest 410, vacating the runway uh, down at the end. I'm not seeing a runway designator. Uh, we're going to taxi to gate and get ready for uh, a trip to Montrose, uh, Southwest 410. Aiden traffic. Okay, let's uh, clean up the airplane. Let's uh, get our flaps up. Okay, and we'll uh, get all that cleaned up. We'll get down here. Oh, I better uh, watch where I'm going. Okay, we're gonna get the, uh, the APU started. I did that on my control uh, right here in front of me. Big Blue, welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, uh, if, you, uh, if you haven't done so yet, please uh, remember. If you haven't yet, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, thank you, Pilot Jeremy. Uh, glad, you, uh, glad you guys got to be here for this. Welcome to Hayden, Colorado. If you want to get out for a while and go skiing over at Steamboat, the, uh, the ski resort is still open. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll pull up a webcam here in a minute and and, uh, show you while we're waiting for a couple of things uh, to uh, to happen. Now I don't have all the fancy uh, GSX stuff uh, uh, in my flight sim yet. I said a little bit earlier this evening that uh, I'm going to be upgrading uh, my computer, and uh, when I get that uh, happening, then uh, I'm planning on uh, doing some uh, new stuff. Let's see, Project Flight Plane Spotter. Hey, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Well done with the landing. We're going to go ahead and pull in here. Love the shadow of the aircraft over there on the right and how the sun's shining through the uh, cockpit windows. Okay, so uh, we'll get up here. We'll come to a stop. Let's set our parking brake. Parking brake is set, and uh, we'll visually verify that. All right. 
Very good, APU is ready for APU gen. So we'll get that changed over. Let's get our APU bleed on. Let's get our fuel off. We'll come down here and uh, stop the engines. All right, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a real quick turnaround here. So what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna uh, show you guys uh, how we do this, uh, letting the engine spool down, of course. Uh, you know, now we can come over to the FMC, go to uh, ground services. Uh, let's uh, get our chocks uh, set and we're gonna request ground power. We will hook ground power up. Uh, Big Blue liked and subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't thank you enough. Appreciate that so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Captain Jack Flight Sim. Uh, uh, I'm, I can't remember if you were here last week, but if this is your first time, uh, so happy to have you. My good buddy Al's is here, and Yoham, and Isaac, and Paul, and Graham, and Bernie, and uh, Nathan uh, was here a little bit earlier. Uh, maybe he still is. Uh, I really appreciate. I like to say hi to uh, to everybody on there. Let's uh, go ahead and get our engine hydraulic pumps off. We'll do that. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn on our ground power. Okay, and uh, let's see, we'll get ground power up. Let's make sure ground power is operating, and it is. Okay, we're gonna leave the packs on so the passengers uh, can be comfortable for a minute. We can get our APU bleed and our APU off. I do have those controls on my uh, flight throttle here as well. Uh, oh man, Kills, you're nice. You, you, are, you are too kind. You are just too kind. I appreciate that so much. Uh, we need to, uh, uh, we're not gonna use the jetway. We're gonna use the uh, stairs. So we'll call for the uh, the air stairs to come over. Where to go? There we are. Okay, we're we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let our flight plan reset uh, all our passenger stuff there. So let's go ahead and uh, let me pull up our sim brief, and I'm gonna pull this uh, up to where you guys can see it as well. So we'll just go ahead and put that here. And we're gonna go ahead and do our dispatch. And we're gonna get out of here real quick. We're gonna try to turn around and uh, get going uh, so we can have some daylight left. So we're gonna be SWA. We're gonna continue with flight 410. Okay, good. We're gonna uh, depart KHDN and we're gonna land uh, KMTJ. I thought about going to uh, Salt Lake City, but I thought, no, I wanna do a Colorado tour tonight. So uh, that's gonna be tonight's uh, uh, main menu. Okay, we're going to go to economy first class. You can see it's a pretty straight shot. Pretty straight shot from here down to Montrose, Colorado. Uh, we'll be bypassing Grand Junction, flying right over Glenwood Springs. So that will be cool. Let's go ahead and generate our flight, get that in here and get that done. I'll show you guys a couple of more things uh, as, we, uh, as we get up to cruise. Let's go to pre-file on the network. All right, that's good. We'll pre-file on that sim. Bring that up. That's all in there. Let's file our flight plan. Okay, flight plan is filed. All right, I'm gonna put this back where she goes. All right. Uh, man, I really uh, pre once again appreciate all you guys uh, being here. I uh, hope you're uh, enjoying the uh, the show here this evening. We'll take a look out here at the uh, the Hayden Airport, and uh, I have some uh, software called uh, 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 what is it? Better Lights. Um, uh, no, it's not Better Bravo Lights. It's uh, um, you know I, I can't think of it. <laughs> I can't can't think of what it is, but uh, man, it really lights the uh, the. I better turn off my taxi and the landing lights, right? Uh, it really lights the airports up real nice. But we've got a beautiful so look at that sunset. Holy smokes! Just look at that. It's just gorgeous. Colorado one standing here. I think we'll get a an F12 picture. Okay, that took. All right, very good. All right, let's get back in, in here and get our uh, flight plan uh, getting ready to get it set. So we're going to go back in our EFB. We're going to request the new flight plan. There's KHDN to KT, uh, MTJ, so that is good. 
We're gonna go over here to our FMC. We'll go to the route page. We're gonna request our flight plan. There it is, KHDN to KMTJ. Uh, we're gonna set our fuel. We're gonna set our payload. We're gonna go to route. We're gonna get that loading in here and we'll wait for that to come up. Okay, our fuel is set. We've got 139 passengers. Uh, so, uh, so that's good. Okay, I did hit that button, right? All right, let's uh, turn our APU back on. Let's get our APU going. All right, we've got that ready and uh, APU. I'm gonna use a switch on my Bravo throttle quadrant. Okay, for some reason it's still on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and change over to APU gen. Let's check the uh, voltage there. That is good. Recirc is on, our packs, uh, we're gonna get those two off for engine start here in just a minute. Let's get our APU bleed on. Once again, with the switch on the uh, Bravo throttle. Uh, let's uh, get our seatbelt signs on and uh, get, those, uh, get those lit up the way they need to be. There we go, all right. Let's do a reset of our master caution there. Okay, and I need to get my flight plan back out here because I like to actually use a paper flight plan and uh, go through all the checks, although we're a little bit uh, ahead uh, on the checks. Okay, APU's on, everything is good there. Let's get into our FMC and start getting it checked. Okay, so uh, our destination, we need to uh, load our route. That's uh, loading in as it needs to be. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna request one air stairs. I meant to do that just a minute ago, but uh, we'll watch the uh, PMDG air stairs uh, come up to the aircraft here in this, uh, this beautiful light. Holy smokes, it looks so pretty. I've got a 34-inch curved uh, gaming monitor that I use here uh, in the uh, flight sim setup, and uh, it really, uh, uh, really uh, brings my immersion level uh, sitting here really in depth. Okay, we're just going to put that there just because it looks good. And yeah, while we're at it, we might as well open the door, right? <laughs> Okay, let's hit return and doors, and we're gonna open the left door now. Of course, that means that we gotta remember to shut the left door. Okay, door is opening. Okay, and we can let whatever needs to happen happen there. Let's go through the rest of our checklist. Let's get to the FMC and get ready to activate and execute. Let's request our perfinet. Okay, we'll get that into the FMC. I'm going to leave this here so we remember to close the door. And, of course, we always check the overhead panel before we go so we can see that uh, we do have passenger door entry. Uh, you know, I need to learn also how to see... Oh, I've got 10 likes. Hey, could we do 15 by the end of the stream? <laughs> you know, I always have to uh, kind of grin to myself because, uh, you know, Al's and Mikey are talking, hey, can we get 75? Can we get 80? Can we get 120? However many likes. Uh, you know, if I get 15 of them, guys, I'd be happy. I got 10 so far. Can I get 15? Can I get 15 before the, I sound like an auctioneer. Can I get 15 before the end? of the uh, stream here. All right, let's let's uh, let's get back to real work here. Okay, we're gonna load our perfinet and we're gonna execute. Okay, that is good and ready to go. Let's go to uh, our perf limits. They look uh, right, very good. All right, in one limit, all that. We're not gonna derate, that looks good. Let's go back over to our left-hand uh, uh, um, EFB here. Okay, we're gonna go to our performance tool. Uh, we're gonna need to get our takeoff. It looks like it's already showing it at runway one three. Let me uh, double check. Okay, we're gonna fetch our new flight plan. All right, that's up there. Okay, flight level, uh, is that, tw yeah, 20,000. Okay. And we're gonna take off on runway 28. So we're gonna change this to 28, 6,600 feet. We're gonna import that from the aircraft. We're gonna import our weather. Let's do our calculate. Okay, V1, 128, 133, 136 on the V speed. So let's go over in flaps one. Let's uh, get rid of that. 
Let's get flaps one in here for takeoff. Our center of gravity is gonna be 17.5, so our trim will be 6.57. That's almost set, but we're gonna go just a little smidgy there and bring that up. All right, very good. Let's uh, do a master caution reset on that. Okay, uh, our initial altitude, once again, we're gonna set this for 20,000 feet. And we're gonna set 20,000 on this altitude. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that offset landing. I, I really, uh, actually, to be honest with you, really enjoyed hand flying that all the way in. One, two, seven in course, those are set. That's uh, what we came in on, so we will just leave that in there. It looks like Denver Center is online. So you know what? If Denver Center is online, they are gonna be controlling us. So let's take a look at our VAT spy map here. Okay, maybe I need to get a refresh on this. Okay, I'm just gonna restart VAT spy. And if nothing else, I'll get on, uh, let's see, 120275. Okay, we need to start a new flight in Volanta, so you guys can see it at a flight plan. HDN to KMJI, okay, we are set on Volanta. And we need to do the same thing on landing rate monitor for uh, fshub.io, fetch from Simbrief. Okay, that's set. You guys can't see that here on the screen because I'm doing all of that uh, on my other screen here. Uh, I'm trying to check the chat here every so often in case you guys have a, a question or uh, suggest something or whatever the case may be. Okay, elevator trim is set. Mach speed we've uh, set to V2, uh, or actually I haven't set my V speeds yet. Let's go back uh, and get those done. 128336, all right, we'll come over here. 128, 133, 136, and 15 is going to be 151. So we'll get that set into our takeoff speed, 151. Okay, that looks good. Uh, okay, elevator trim, yaw damper. Let's get the yaw damper uh, set and uh, cycle that and it's on, yaw damper is ready. Uh, the flight directors, we're going to do a quick reset of those because I did not turn those off after we landed. So we'll reset the flight directors, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna release that ground uh, ground cart uh, or the uh, ground uh, stairs and get rid of that. Door is shut, we'll watch that pull away. Okay, we're on APU and APU gen, so we can uh, get rid of the ground power. Ground power is off. And we can release our ground power from the aircraft. All right, let's uh, do our departure here. We're gonna take off on runway 28. Uh, there's not gonna be a SID at this point. We're gonna arrive KMTJ. Let's uh, look at our flight plan here real quick and, t and see our arrival is going to be on, man, I keep hoping we get an ILS, but it looks like we're going to have to do another RNAV on 1-3. Well, I've done that several times too, so we'll be landing RNAV again. I, I just really enjoy and love doing, um, uh, you know what, I'm not going to clear that route discontinuity yet. Let's uh, check with uh, Denver Center, One two seven. Dot 650. So I'm gonna dial that up on the radio, 127.650. Let's check in with Denver Center and see if he's controlling Hayden to Montrose. Okay, here we go. Uh, Denver Center, good evening. Uh, Southwest 410 at KHDN requesting IFR departure to Montrose MTJ. Southwest 410, I'm requesting my 
Standing by, Southwest 410. Okay. Hey, Dave Navani is here. Looking for some, yeah, Dave, looking for some tips. Dave's a real world pilot. Dave, uh, <laughs> you, you, can, uh, you can grade me on uh, what we, we're doing here. So let's listen for our Denver Center to come back. We're going to be ready for pushback and start. While we're waiting for him to give us a clearance. Okay, I have packs are off. Isolation valve is open. Recirc is, we're good. We're ready for push and start. Yeah, Dave's a, a good friend of mine, fellow ham operator, and uh, is a real world pilot down in Colorado Springs. Dave, honored to have you here, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, we'll uh, just sit here and wait for clearance for the moment. Southwest 410, clearance available. Sorry, ready to copy. Ready to copy, Southwest 410. Southwest 410, you're cleared at Montrose Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 15,000. Departure this frequency, squawk 0006, hold for release. Okay, we are cleared as filed, uh, 15000 and uh, 006, uh, wait for release. Southwest 410, read back, correct. Device number one, short of the runway, frequency change brief. Okay, we'll advise when uh, short of the runway, and we'll uh, change over to uh, Hayden SeaTac, uh, uh, Southwest 410. Okay, well, good. So we're cleared to push back, start, and go to the runway. So let me uh, double check that CTAF frequency again. That is 119.9. Jessica is here. One contact Salt Lake Center on 120. Hello, Jessica. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And, uh, hey, guys, I'm looking for 15 likes. So, uh, hey, 15 likes by the end of the, uh, the stream. <laughs> uh, maybe make it 20 if we do well. Jessica, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Captain Jack Flight Sim. We are in Hayden, Colorado, and uh, so glad to uh, have you aboard with us on the Colorado 1737, Southwest Airlines, of course. Real aircraft. We're flying uh, this livery. It is a real aircraft, and uh, so glad that, uh, that you could uh, join us tonight. Not sure what you're talking about there, but, uh, uh, you know, budge brownies, yeah, they're great. 81 whiskey cross, okay, cross. we are yeah, ready for pushback and start. I'm going to lower these sounds the just a little bit. Altimeter. I'll have in just a second the Denver altimeter 3014 for now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and clear that discontinuity at this point because... Uh, 81 whiskey, if you got it, 17,000 a quail and the metro altimeter 3018. Okay, very good. Let's go here and let's get our pushback. Okay, I want the nose to the right. Okay, we're gonna turn those to the. <laughs> we're gonna hope it does anyway. Okay, here we go. Let's go, folks. Let's get uh, let's get underway here. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our left. Yeah, let's hope. Roger that. Ready for pushback. Tail to the left. Release brake, please. Okay, parking brake release. Um, Noah, yeah, you know what? We are doing a, not another leg after this. No, I, I'm sorry. We will not be doing another leg after we get to uh, uh, to Montrose here. Uh, we flew in here from Colorado Springs and are heading to Montrose. Uh, I tell you what, though, uh, Noah, if you want to send me an email, Captain Jack at uh, Captain Jack Flight Sim. It's on the screen there. If you want to send me an email, I'll let you know where we're going next week. I'd love to have you guys fly with me. That would be wonderful and momentous for sure. Okay, we're going to set our takeoff course for the runway heading. Actually, I got to get the runway heading. Hang on here just a minute. Okay, there we go. Uh, N1 is 2.5. Let's introduce fuel. And he's pushing the tail where I want us to go. Yay. All right. Let's get the engine started up here. Listen to those engine sounds. Okay, we need our... Uh, Heading to be 303. Denver Center, Southwest 3257. Southwest 3257, Denver Center. 
Uh, yeah, do you have a flight plan filed for me? ID, sorry about that, the TDLS did go off, didn't I? Okay, let's set uh, up. Uh, whenever uh, you're ready or if you want to throw it in the PDC, I'd certainly take it. Let me see, I'm going to turn their audio down just a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about that. I usually make the nice little thing in my ear when I uh, file, but uh, not that time. Okay. Uh, actually, I filed the flight plan before you came online, so that's probably Parking why. Parking brake is set, so let's go ahead and get our course in here. Good evening, Denver Center United 61 and Puddle Hole 370 over Waypoint Red. Can't set the FO side. Ready 1551, Denver Center, hello. All right, guys, we are ready for taxi, so uh, we'll go ahead and taxi on down. And actually, I need to make sure that uh, we have both engines running. Okay, let's get fuel on number one. Yeah, no, I, I am sorry. I'm not doing another leg after this, but uh, I'll be happy to, uh, uh, to have you on the next one, brother. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to have some of you guys fly with me. I'd be especially honored uh, for that. That would be uh, wonderful. Yeah, by the way, Dave, <laughs> yeah, Dave, I'm a little late, but uh, yeah, you know, you don't say hijack in the airport. You just, you, you don't do it. Yeah, yeah. If you see me in the airport, say hello, Jack. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that's better. All right, let's uh, also get our uh, speed brakes into the RTO, or not our speed brakes, but our uh, anti-skid into RTO. Okay, we are ready for taxi, so we're going to go ahead and... and uh, traffic 12 o'clock. Keep your miles opposite direction. It's a skywalk. Taxi lights on. Okay. Brakes off. And we'll get going here. And get on the uh, on the second leg. Okay, we'll also do a quick uh, Flight control set, full left, full right, up, down, rudder, left and right. Okay, that's good. We'll get over here onto the taxiway. Try not to hit the little lights that Microsoft puts in the middle of everything. Yeah, we may bring up some more sunshine. Sunshine, how about that? Well, I'll bring up some more sunshine. So maybe we can see a, a few of these Colorado yeah, Mountain Hello Views. Again, the Southwest 3257 is ready for push and start off of Charlie 41. Southwest 3257, prospect approved. Push straight back to the first line. Yeah, let's 57. give ourselves some light. Let's. Uh, All right, we'll push back to the first line and uh, advise ready for taxi for Southwest uh, 3257. We do have whiskey. Roger. Yeah, Denver Center is uh, pretty cool. On somebody, uh, aircraft calling it answered. Say again. Yeah, guys, we had uh, we had some problems at the beginning of the stream. For some reason or another, I was not streaming for the first uh, 10 minutes or so. Don't know what happened, but um, I had to uh, literally start the stream again. And as you can see, the Volanta over overlay is not working like I'd like for it to. It's not really showing us uh, any real information. Uh, direct Jesse for Skyway 6185. Okay, we'll let uh, Simulware update here. And I need to watch where I'm going. Let's uh, get our flaps set. Nope, back here. Love those sounds. Okay, we'll go up here to a monitor two for just a moment. You can see it's uh, showing our aircraft here at KHDN. So that looks good. We'll go ahead and bring our taxi speed up just a little bit so we can go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to arm our auto throttle and we'll arm our LNAV and VNAV, although I don't think LNAV is going to arm right now because we're pointing the 
wrong direction. It really does not like that too much. And you know, this actual runway heading is 284. I'm going to reset these. I got to tell you guys, I ride a motorcycle. I'm a ham radio operator. Takeoff flap setting uh, is uh, one day, flaps one. We can see on the uh, indicator here. In the 737, this is your flaps indicator. So takeoff flaps is takeoff one. So, uh, so there you go. Aiden, Colorado, just west of Steamboat Springs. Denver Center Delta 4823 down in Durango is looking for IFR clearance to Casper. Wow. The 4823 request, stand by. Okay, we'll pull up short. Well, check a couple of things here. I, I thought I did something wrong. Thought I forgot to put something in. Let's get the engine hydraulics on. That's what I get for not going by the checklist, guys. Okay, Noah. Yeah, send that email. Look forward to doing something in the future. Absolutely, man. I will let you know. Um, I will let you know uh, what my uh, schedule next week is going to be. I usually don't decide until the weekend, maybe before. Uh, I was kind of inspired by Al's last week landing in Denver to, uh, to do uh, uh, this two-leg uh, Colorado flight. So yeah, absolutely, man. I will keep in touch with you by email. Uh, you'll have my uh, my other uh, contact information then. All right, let's uh, stop and let's uh, call center. And uh, yeah, we can, uh, don't forget your pressurization panel. Yeah, we looked at that earlier. So we're at 20,000 feet. Thanks for the heads up, man. I really uh, appreciate that. Uh, 6,600, you know what though? Let's actually look at the, um, the landing uh, altitude in Montrose. Let's uh, double check that. Montrose information, 5769. Delta F4823, have your clearance. It's a full rate clearance, advisor, your copy. Okay, we'll yeah. wait till they're yeah. done with this copy. The okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Noah. It's good to have some co-pilots along, man. I really, really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Okay, we're going to wait uh, till he stops talking. Okay, let's uh, get back up here. We're going to do some double checks, packs, and auto. That's good. Window heat probes. We don't need our engine ice. Uh, the clouds are just not that bad. All right. Yeah, no, Pat. Yeah, you know, I've done that before, Noah. You're absolutely yeah. right. Um, go, I Marco. have forgot to turn the packs on, and later the screen starts blinking. Yeah, <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. You see, Al's and Mickey Mike, and probably you, know, I wouldn't have forgot that. But. Mike Alpha okay. Romeo, oh, you know what? We've got it. We we need to uh, change our transponder code. That's right. Let me get that in here too. So it's going to be triple zero six. Yeah, direct. Got you. So, yeah. Okay, triple zero six. Drango. And I didn't. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I am. I am but a learner, like uh, like Bravo I said. Uniform. Hey, Captain Zip is here. Hey, man, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad that uh, glad that you're here, and uh, uh, it was nice to uh, get to chat with you, some on Mickey Mikes and uh, uh, Al Streams. I really appreciate it. My favorite man. Hey, yeah, you're too kind. You're too kind. All right, let's call a Denver Center here once they uh, quit talking. And Denver Center, Southwest 410 at uh, runway 28, KHDN, ready for takeoff. For guys who have three hours of sleep, you're going to kill you with this fast. You're released for departure. Clans will be if not off in five minutes. If you're not off in five minutes, advise intentions this frequency no later than one zero minutes. Change to advisory frequency approved for Port Airborne. Okay, cleared for five minutes uh, after 10. Uh, uh, I forgot everything else you said, but uh, gotcha. We're, we're out of here now. Southwest 410, sorry. Uh, he's going to be mad Denver at me for Center, that. Uh, Center, Okay, Center, brakes off. Uh, on final visual code 2024, right? The TNZ 454, you can't disconnect. Three miles short of the runway, disconnect. 
Yeah, he's got to be mad at me for that. <laughs> Denver that. center uh, guy can okay, be a little, in a little testy, testy on occasion. Well, let's go ahead and roll and, and get out of here. Denver center, not close. Not at Ian, com one, TG, point eight. Have a good night, guys. Well, all right. Thanks, center. You're great. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Southwest 410. Okay, let's go ahead and set takeoff yeah, power. Thanks for the help. Okay, slide forward pressure on the yoke. Toga. And uh, yeah, don't don't forget. Toga! 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 Yeah, get her done. All right, there we go. Coming up. V1. V1 and rotate. All right. Positive rate climb. Gear up. And we are out of here. Boy, that's a steep takeoff out of here, man. We're already up to uh, 25 degrees. Holy smokes. This flight plan makes you climb. All right, now we're leveling out. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start my uh, left turn. Uh, Hayden traffic, Southwest 410, beginning uh, turn to the south, uh, direct to uh, Montrose. Hayden traffic, Southwest 410. Okay, there's our flaps coming up. Let's get back up on the flight deck. Let's engage our uh, LNAV. And we're gonna get to see uh, two, uh, two sunsets this evening so we can uh, see some of this Colorado scenery. All right. There's our uh, top of climb, not too terribly far away. Uh, this is, uh, is gonna be a little bit shorter leg maybe. We'll take a look at our progress page here in just a minute. Okay, 10,000 feet, let's get the autopilot on. And I'll get you guys back up in here into the flight deck with me. And we'll head for that uh, top of climb. So there's our airport that we just left. You can see the snow over on the mountains. That's the Steamboat Spring, uh, Steamboat Spring Ski Resort. Captain Zim says runway contact lost. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Isaac, I, I love the audio. You know, I am a radio guy from uh, the late 70s, 80s, and 90s, and uh, was uh, uh, was a disc jockey on uh, several De Denver radio stations, and used to do an awful lot of. Uh, uh, shall we say personality radio? Let's uh, do our after takeoff checklist here. Okay, let's get our brakes to uh, off. Let's get our landing gear to off. LNAV and VNAV and Command A are engaged. Let's go up top. Let's make sure everything's in good shape here. Thanks to Noah, we've got our packs on. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get the taxi and the landing lights off. Okay, those are off. All right, here we go. We'll be into Montrose. I did not, once again, do a, a reset of the clock. It's on my checklist, and I just blew right past it. So we'll get that going, and yes, now I am, am in run. All right, that's good. Let's go over here. Let's check our progress page. So 0148, and it's going to be a short flight. We're coming up on the top of climb already. Almost makes me want to do a third leg. But it's, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to tonight. I've got some other stuff to do before, uh, before we're done with the evening here at the household. Uh, so, uh, once again, a couple of things I want to show you. Let's go back to Monitor 2 and look at Similware. And uh, I uh, showed uh, some of you guys this on the, uh, the first leg. 
But uh, tonight, last week, I featured Al's and Mickey D. Mike, and we'll be doing so again for sure, for sure. Al's is still here with us. Al's, appreciate you, brother man. Uh, Al's, uh, put, in the, uh, put in the chat, if you would, when your next flight is and how people can maybe get uh, to you on your Discord channel and all of that kind of stuff. Feel free to put that. Uh, Tom, Tom's watching in Phoenix. Tom, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here tonight, my friend. Tom is an engineer for uh, uh, Icon, uh, Icon TV. And uh, really, really uh, appreciate Tom checking in with us here. Okay, we've stopped at 18,000 feet. We, uh, he, we had clearance to 15. Uh, so this is where I need to come back down here and check our crews. Yeah, we need to be at flight level. Well, I lost it. Where is it? Where'd it go? Back at the top, uh, 20,000. So we're going to change that. F L. And I thought we were uh, getting out of that a little, a little too easy there. So let's go back and uh, reset that and execute, and the airplane will begin to climb. Yep, here she goes. Okay, and we'll get to our uh, proper climbing level. Yoham, you're watching from Phoenix. Uh, or from <laughs> <laughs> from the Phoenix A320. Okay, very good, very good. Tom, welcome, glad you're here. Uh, Al's is still with us, good deal, Al's. Uh, yeah, uh, please uh, uh, please go ahead and put your uh, your information on your uh, channel and everything in the, uh, in the, in the uh, chat window there. Uh, welcome to do that, I, I don't mind it a bit. Cap Zimp, uh, anybody else who's got a, a YouTube stream, please uh, feel free to, uh, let's get you a, a little plug in here on the Captain Jack flight stream. Really appreciate that. Uh, like we were saying just a little bit earlier, Fly with K is, uh, is a channel that I really like. A young lady out of Houston, Texas, who uh, is a real life pilot who uh, uh, flies her aircraft Little Red. All right, we're coming up on our uh, uh, top of climb here, so that's good. And I uh, really enjoy watching her stuff. She is very, very good and really pro at what she does. Uh, CST Gaming, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad, to, oh man, Al's and Yoham sent you. Glad to be here, uh, or glad to have you here, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that uh, more than you know. And then another one of uh, our flight sim buddies is Fly with Lotto. Uh, Lotto shows up uh, on some of the other channels, and I've watched some of his videos and really enjoyed that. And uh, Yoham, I want to put you up on the uh, screen here next week. Uh, so uh, Dominic, Dominic is here. <laughs> How are you? All my flight sim friends. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Captain Jack flight sim. We are at 20,000 feet top of climb uh, over uh, essentially north central Colorado. And uh, we're on the way to Montrose, Colorado. We're going to be flying right over Glenwood Springs here in just a few minutes. And uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you uh, aboard the Colorado One. Let me turn down these sounds a little bit on the outside. Colorado One, uh, Southwest uh, 737. These are real world flight routes that uh, uh, Southwest flies. Uh, Dominic, I am glad you're here. Ken Phipps is here. Ken, hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I've met you through the chat before, but welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I uh, hope you in, enjoy the uh, flight stream and uh, some of the other things that we do. Uh, uh, I am really glad that all of you guys, um, all of you guys are uh, checking in tonight. That is so awesome. If you haven't yet, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and yeah. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Okay, well, uh, that, that's all we need to hear from Jeremy tonight. 13 likes, would like to get 15. Uh, let's see, Graham says internet issues up there in Scotland. Oh man, so, so sorry. Uh, watch the rerun when you get it fixed. Good night. Graham, thanks for being here as always, my friend. Appreciate you so much. Uh, Graham has been on every one of these flight streams uh, that I've done since I started way, way back in uh, May of last year. Uh, I forgot to count and see how many streams that I've got up. We had a little faux pas in the beginning of this one tonight, but uh, we're uh, still doing good. So, uh, oh, one other, uh, I, I like to call them uh, unofficial sponsors, but uh, for those of you who may be ham operators or may know of ham operators, uh, KI0AR leads the Colorado Astronomy Net on Tuesday evenings, 7 o'clock, 
on the skyhublink.com repeater linking system. Guys, if you want to see a little bit more about what I'm all about, I am a ham radio operator and a motorcycle rider and a radio broadcast engineer. And uh, uh, if you want to see what I'm about a little bit more, go to skyhublink.com. Skyhublink.com. You can see uh, about our linked ham radio repeater linking system. But Dominic, welcome. I am honored that you're here tonight, my friend. And uh, Ken, um, where are you from? Ken, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, what, what part of the country you may be from, if, if you don't mind saying, but you don't have to, of course. All right, uh, 20,000 feet and uh, top of descent is going to be in about, uh, let's see, what screen do I have up right now? Top of descent is going to be, if we look down here at the PFD, uh, the MFD, uh, is a little more than 20 miles away. Okay, so we need to start getting ready to think about our descent here. So we're going to come back to our legs. We're going to grab one, runway 13 in Montrose. And we're going to do our fixed uh, page so we get our uh, fixed rings. And 5 and 10. In 15. I think um, I think maybe next week we'll do London, Ontario. Ken, welcome, welcome, welcome from London, Ontario. That is really, really cool. Glad to uh, have you here tonight. Uh, yeah, it's really cool to get to know where uh, you know some folks are and where they're watching from. Uh, Dominic, Yoham, uh, Alice, I believe you're in Pennsylvania, right? Um, uh, you know, if you guys don't mind saying the state, uh, you know, of course you don't have to. Uh, no, no pressure there. I understand how it is necessarily over the internet. Uh, so let's see. All right, we are set there. When we uh, land in Montrose, we'll have 7,300 pounds of fuel. We've got 79 now, so we're going to lose 600 pounds of fuel, uh, or 0.6 between now and then. So we'll subtract 0 0.6 from 127.3. That's going to give us 126.7. Yoham in Vancouver, British Columbia. Man, I got to move uh, up there. Just moved to Virginia, Owls. Yeah, you know, I've kind of uh, gotten a, a bit of a, uh, a glimpse, I think, of where you were from, uh, but I, I can't think of it at the moment. All right, we're going to go ahead and go flaps 40 and 130 knots on the landing speed there. We don't need that up anymore, so we'll put our legs there and have our landing speed there. So we've done a lot of our uh, pre descent information. We need, uh, of course, uh, one more thing is we need to uh, get the METAR TAF on that. So KMTJ, we'll put that up on monitor two. Okay, 30.15, so let's get that set. Okay, and we'll go 30.15. This is going to be our landing altimeter. And I'm going to set an initial minimums of 200. We did not do minimums on the landing into, um, into Hayden. So there we go. All right. Okay, top of descent is less than 10 miles away, and we're going to be using the RNAV onto runway 13. I will pull this up on ChartFox just a minute so that we can take a look at that, and you guys can see that. So our inbound course is going to be 127, and our touchdown zone is going to be 5,700 feet. So we're going to go ahead and start moving this in so we can start our descent when the top of descent hits. Okay, 5,700 feet. We've got that set on the altitude. And we've got that set in our pressure, pressurization. All right, and uh, we're going to start descending here in just a minute, guys. Yeah, I want to bring up uh, Chart Fox. Okay, I'm going to bring this screen up. ChartFox does an awful lot of what Navigraph does, but it's free, and I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I guess I'm a little cheap. <laughs> uh, I do not pay uh, for uh, Navigraph at the moment. Probably should. 
Okay, yeah, and then then of course you uh, you get this in here. Okay, one more time, KMTJ. And we have started our descent. Okay, we're gonna go to the approach. We're gonna use the RNAV. Okay. There we go. So our touchdown zone, 5,723. Approach course is 127. So let's get back here. And we started our descent and bring up our course of 127. And we will try to uh, remember to record this landing so we can go back and see a replay or two. Okay, 127. I'm going to go ahead and set the heading because we don't really have any controller telling us to do something else. Okay, there's 127. Okay, we are set in that. Now, I can tell you right now, this is Grand Mesa, just east of Grand Junction. Montrose is over in here, so we're going to be descending in here. And uh, yeah, we're coming up on our approach rings and we're also coming up uh, upon 18,000 feet. So let's set to our local altimeter. It's gonna put us a little above. Let's get our landing information in here. Runway 13, gonna import the weather. 3015, we're going to calculate our VREF would be 139. We've already got that figured, though, into the FMC. So that's good. All right, we're uh, coming on in nicely. Let's reset our master caution there. Not sure what happened. Look over here to the left, it's Blue Mountain Reservoir and the San, uh, the San Juan Mountains of Western Colorado. And you can see how we're gonna come in more or less on a direct path to a 10 mile final to runway 13. This should be a fun landing. I have actually have done this landing into Montrose before and it's uh, really, really fun. There we are coming down uh, over the uh, mountains with another sunset. Yep, Al's landing time. Uh, Grand Junction is over here. This is the north end of Grand Mesa. And we're gonna keep following this RNAV path on down. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, little bit shorter leg here. Yeah, the scenery uh, kills. The scenery is amazing. It really just is. And, you know, the weather rendition of this is exactly what's going on here. It's crazy, crazy cool. Crazy, crazy cool. Um, and, and, and I've been all over this part of the country as, uh, you know, a radio engineer going to radio transmitter sites. By the way, I did just load in tonight. Uh, we love VFR for uh, Region 2 of the world. And, man, it puts... Uh, uh, hey, Daniel. Daniel's here twice daily. Yellow, yellow, everybody. <laughs> Daniel, welcome, welcome. Glad you can make it in here for uh, landing on the last leg. This will be uh, our last leg tonight. Okay, I'm going to make sure that we have our flight recorder up. Bring that across that screen just to where it's uh, in front of me. And uh, those of you who, uh, who do... Uh, um, uh, flight streams and everything. I've gotten to where I hit the record for the landing when I lower the gear. Lower the gear, you hit the record for landing. That, uh, that's been helping me to uh, remember of what we're doing. All right, let's uh, make sure that uh, we've got everything done. We've uh, completed the FMC forecast page. We have no ILS uh, uh, frequencies to check in at this point. And what I do is on an RNAV uh, run uh, on an RNAV approach, I always set the nav radios to 108. I remember somebody taught me that nobody uses an ILS on a frequency of 108. So you get that in there, and it doesn't confuse the aircraft for a going in. All right, that's it. D ice we don't need. Landing altitude is checked. 
uh, recall, we'll do a quick check on the uh, recall button. That's all good and clear. Radio altitude, we're using a barometric approach, and we have that set. Auto brake, let's set our auto brake uh, for two again. Actually, this is a long runway. Uh, I'm going to set auto brake one. I don't think we're going to need two. We've reset uh, our altimeter at uh, 18,000 feet. We're not quite to 10,000 feet yet for speed to be, be uh, 250 or below. So we'll be ready for the uh, landing lights here in just a moment. As we come on into Montrose, Colorado, on a real, yep, and uh, that'll get out of the way, get out of the way. Here's our runway that we're coming into. So we're gonna be making that turn here in just a minute. We're gonna be landing on this runway, one, three. And I'll tell you guys, the Montrose Valley looks exactly like this. This is, we're flying right over a town called Cedar Edge, Colorado, and that's exactly what Cedar Edge. I mean, I cannot, let's see, where am I? Yep, you know what, I can see my friend Harvey's house. He lives just north of this thing, right in here, right in this neighborhood. I believe that middle house right there is his. Hey, Harvey, how you doing? <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going to get ready to uh, make this turn. As you can see, we're coming in. Yep, Montrose is gorgeous country indeed. And once again, we can see uh, the landing lights on the airport, the San Juan Mountains off in the distance. Let's get uh, orientated here. Okay, we look good there. Everything is set. All right, below 10,000 feet, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on landing lights and taxi lights. Just have the taxi lights on. Let's go back up here and uh, yeah, you know, I uh, nope, get back on there. Want that one on, window well, strobes. Okay, we are set. We're also going to get our engine switches into continuous for landing. And here we go, guys. We're gonna make that uh, left-hand turn for final here in just a minute. Our speed is uh, inching down to 200 knots. I'm gonna go ahead and arm our speed brakes. Remember, we're gonna start the recorder when the landing wheels go down. I'm saying that for my benefit as much as yours. <laughs> okay, and there's our runway. Runway is in sight, the airfield is in sight. And we're making that turn. Uh, just slightly below the glide slope, but uh, that's all right. Speed is looking just fine. All right, we're going to go flaps one. And I'm going to introduce some gra drag to uh, get our speed down to flaps one. And I am going to go ahead and take over the speed of the aircraft. And I want to go flaps five. There's our runway. I'm gonna to go to Unicom. You know, I did not get the CTAF frequency in here. Montrose traffic, uh, Southwest 410 uh, on about a seven mile final for runway 13, uh, Southwest 410 Montrose. Okay, we need to get our speed down some more. And I'm gonna to have to put some drag in and we're gonna to go to flaps 30 and we're gonna get our wheels. Landing gear down, and let's start our record. Okay, record is starting. Okay, yep, 122.8, so that turns out to be the frequency. All right, we are coming in and looking really, really good here, guys. 
kind of a beautiful time of night to land here, I think. You can see some of the scenery. You know what, I'm gonna change our uh, auto brakes to auto brakes three because actually this is, well, auto brakes two anyway, this is a 7,500 foot runway. Okay, 1,000 feet, stabilized approach. Let's get our missed uh, approach altitude set to 10,000. All right, and I am gonna take over the aircraft. Here we go, guys. I have the aircraft. Gonna keep following the uh, cross hairs down. Little trim. We don't really have any wind that we're landing in. I just hope this is a smooth as an Android's bottom landing. Okay, let's get back on that center line a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna go flaps 40. Now, you know what? Those lights did that to me at another airport. We're gonna land really long, but we're landing. 50, 40, 30. Look at this. Yeah, this is really a go around, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay. Hey, 160 minus 202. I'll take both of those. Yeah, did you did you see that? Did you see the the lights and they seem to really drop off. Okay, manual brake. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome to Montrose. All right, we're going to stop our recording. Yeah, minus 160 uh, is what uh, landing, uh, well, my landing rate monitor gave us minus 202. The other landing rate that I have gave us uh, minus 160. Okay, landing lights off. We're gonna go back and watch it though. Okay, and the main terminal for Montrose is down here. The East German judges give it a seven. Well, you know, the East German judges, what do they do with the women they got? No, I'm kidding. Brakes no longer exist. Well, that could very well be. Uh, you know, we can check that in just a, a minute, Johan. Let's go ahead and uh, we're just gonna pull up here to this line at the terminal. And then we're gonna go back and, uh, and watch that landing. I'm really not sure where the Southwest Terminal is here. Okay, let's go ahead and stop. And let's go back in and see that landing from a couple of views and see what we get. Remember, when we do this, it's going to just jump all over the place. So here we go. Okay, there we go. So let's watch our landing here coming in. Look at the moon and whatever star that is. We'll uh, just see how this does. Put that back there. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on with those runway lights. Let's see if we get a legal landing here. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. I didn't look too bad from here. Okay, okay, you guys, you guys, you guys can uh, can keep applauding there. Let's uh, get a view from uh, passenger view here. 
all those houses in Montrose. I, I know a few people who live in Montrose. Tom, thank you. Yeah, yo, Hamway, I forgot to check the lights. Never listen to MS, MSFS runway lights. Kill says, you know, this has happened to me twice where those runway lights, or actually three times where those runway lights literally appeared to float above the ground. It was just, it's just crazy. Oh, no, you know what, guys? <laughs> The uh, the sim just crashed. Ah, dang. The sim just crashed. So we're going to go back to, to there. All right. Well, you know what? That's probably going to wrap it up for us tonight. I want to thank you for being here. Uh, uh, gee, you know, I don't know why that it decides to do that. But uh, anyway, uh, the, the, uh, the sim just crashed. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of kind of maybe par for the course uh, of the way we got started there. But anyway, want to thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Kills My Skills is here. Thomas, uh, Tom Dahl was here. My good buddy there, Yoham Owls. Uh, let's see. I'll go back through here because I like to thank everybody. Ken was here. Ken, thank you so much. Dominic was here. Graham, of course. Uh, let's see. Uh, who have met? Cap Zimp, of course, man. Appreciate you. Isaac, uh, the underdog, was here. Man, you guys are great. Really appreciate you coming. Uh, Jessica, Jessica Luttrell. I'm not sure who that is, but uh, Jessica, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to uh, have had you on. Big Blue was here. Really appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Uh, who else did I get there? Bernie was here. Um, uh, Nathan was here for a little bit in the beginning. Uh, really appreciate that. And of course, Andrew was here. Andrew was first here tonight. So guys, we'll go ahead and call it a night. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'll let you know where we're going to fly next week and uh, I don't know why my replay is crashing like that but uh, we'll just have to have to see and try to figure it out and I'm trying to figure out all this uh, other stuff too so with that God bless you from my virtual uh, aircraft flight deck here Captain Jack so long God bless you peace and long life my friends